Hello, my friends. Привет. This is our lesson number six. And today we'll continue to talk about adjectives. What kind of? Какой? Let's start. I will read, you follow me, and try to understand everything. Это я и мой друг. Это мой друг. Его зовут Иван. Он фотограф. Это я и моя подруга. Это моя подруга. Ее зовут Кристина. Она балерина. Это моя книга Гарри Поттер. Она интересная. Книга красная. Я люблю читать. Это мое пианино. Это мое пианино. Оно зеленое. Я люблю играть на пианино. I hope you understand everything. If you do, super! Good job! Молодец! Today we'll continue our lesson about adjectives. Last lesson I already told you that there are three genders in Russian language and adjective take the gender of the noun which it describes. For example, masculine noun, жук. It is masculine. We know it because it has no ending in the end. It ends with consonant and there is no ending a, o, u. It's just жук. It means masculine, жук. And when we want to add some adjectives to it, we have this ending, ы. You don't have to remember the ending of masculine adjectives because it is the form of the word in the dictionary. If you look up into the dictionary, you'll find all the adjectives in masculine form. So the ending ы is masculine. Красный жук. Something like this. Жук. Красный жук. I don't know <laughs> if it looks like a жук. Now, feminine gender. Красная книга. Do you remember it? Книга is feminine. It means that adjectives must have the form of a feminine noun, feminine word. And it means the ending aya for adjectives. Книга красная. You see a lot of vowels here because it is feminine gender. A lot of vowels in the end. Книга красная. Neuter gender. We have noun with ending o, пианино, пианино. And it means we have to put ending o here to the Adjective. Красное. Красное. Because this ое is not stressed, we have stress on а here. We pronounce it like ае. Красное пианино. But if you say красное пианино, everybody will understand you, you know. All Russian speakers will understand you absolutely fine. So, if you cannot remember this rule, don't do that. Just say красное пианино. But if you already want to sound like Russian, you have to have to remember about this spelling rule that without stress, O becomes A. But there is some other rule about adjective. And I will tell you about it right now. Because there is seven letter spelling rule in Russia, it says never use U after G, K, H, Z, Sh, Ch, Sh. But 
we have this ending u in masculine form and sometimes the base the stem of the word finishes with these letters what we gonna do in this case i know what <laughs> and you'll know right now we have to choose u to e we choose this letter u to the letter e and these seven letters is easy to remember because g k h are the letters that you form in your throat g k h they are formed in your throat not with your tongue or teeth but in your throat and the letters z sh ch sh are all those strange letters in russian alphabet and they are kind of hissing letters Zzz, sh, tsh, sh. You, did, did you notice it all of these letters are hissing and there are no other letters like this which you th which you form in your throat and hissing so remember just just remember this throat and hissing letters are the seven letter spelling rules you will meet this rule later in other grammar uh, rules so it is very useful to remember it right now seven letter spelling rule never use u after g k h z sh ch sh so if we have in masculine especially because here in masculine the ending is u and we change it on e for example malinki malinki means little or small it is no matter in russian little or small it's only one word malinki malinki the stress is on a malinki zhuk little beetle and in feminine it's the same malinkaya книга маленькая пианино in uter so let's move forward there are some other rule i'm gonna tell you about adjective mm -hmm. you already know this one really красный жук feminine Oh, masculine ending e красная книга feminine ending aya красная пианино oye and this rule seven letter spelling rule yeah you know it never use e after g k h z sh ch sh use e instead маленький жук and here feminine aya the same маленькая книга and oye маленькое пианино but there is a group of adjectives in russian language which ends with the oy in masculine oy yes and you don't have to remember them i already told you the masculine form is a form you can find in a dictionary this is a form you first meet the the word uh, like adjective you know it is in it is always in masculine form so if you see the word большой for example большой means big or large it's all the same большой big or large it can be big brother большой брат it can be big house большой дом it can be big size not large you know большой размер so the ending oi is always stressed always stressed if you see adjectives with ending oi you have stress on it большой большой жук for example big beetle and in feminine form it's all the same it is a good news большая oh i put it twice here <laughs> большая книга 
большое пианино. Большое. It's always the same. Neuter also the same. Ое, ая, ая. Feminine ая, neuter, ое. And there is the last rule about adjectives. I promise it's all, everything, yeah. We, all we have to learn about adjectives is uh, only plural form, but for, for today, this is all you have to know about adjectives. And the last rule is that after soft m, do you remember what is soft consonant and hard consonant? Hard n, soft n, n. For example, word sini, sini. Ñ is so soft, sini. We have the ending i, i. Like here, when we after letters g, k, h, j, sh, ch, sh, and also soft n, n, sini. There are no, uh, there are no great amount of these words in Russian, but they exist, and you will meet them. And this i after. Ñ, after soft Ñ, it changes for Yaya in feminine form. Синяя, синяя книга. And Ее in neuter form. Синее пианино. Синее пианино. So, let's talk about all these adjectives all together one more time. In masculine form, this is the form in the dictionary. You can you can have find the ending ы, и, and ой. This is и, the same like here. In feminine, ая and яя. This яя after и. In neuter, ое and ее. Ое, ее. All these letters are the same. Do you remember about nouns? Do you remember ending of feminine nouns? A, ya. And here also, a, ya, ya, ya. Only a, ya, ya, ya. In Utah, o, ye, and your in, in nouns, yeah? And here in Utah adjectives, o, ye, ye, ye. You, I think you will remember it easily. If you don't understand it, just try it again and again. You can do it. Wow, and here we have some new vocabulary, new adjectives you have to learn. Adjective dobry. Dobry means kind. Luke Skywalker dobry. And here is the word zloy. Zloy is opposite for dobry. If dobry is kind, then zloy means unkind or evil or angry. Angry, yes, evil, angry. Zloy. Darth Vader zloy. Darth Vader zloy. Luke Skywalker dobry. We can say Luke Skywalker добрый, а Darth Vader злой. А means but in this situation. Next word, старый. Старый means old. Старый фильм. Это старый фильм. Новый is opposite for старый. А это... Новый фильм. Это старый фильм. А это новый фильм. Новый means new. Next word. Маленький. Маленький. Little, I already told you, or small. Он маленький. And opposite for маленький is большой. Большой. Он большой. Он большой. А он маленький. Next word. Красивый. Красивый means beautiful or handsome. 
We can say красивый for a cake. Это красивый торт. Торт means cake. Красивый торт. And we can say красивый for a girl or a boy, for a woman or a man, any, any, for anybody and anything that is beautiful, we say красивый. There is no difference in Russian. There is no word for handsome, for a man. It is always красивый. Красивая or красивый. And if we put these near in the beginning of the word, we'll get the opposite meaning. Некрасивый. Некрасивый. Это некрасивый торт. But I think it is still delicious. But it is некрасивый. Некрасивый. Красивый торт. Некрасивый торт. And now it's time to go through all the colors. Do you know that colors are also adjectives? Because we describe something by uh, asking what color is it and we say it is red, for example. The red is an adjective. So in Russian it is also has this rule of ending for the gender. Here, all the adjectives are in masculine gender because I already told you it is a dictionary form of adjective. So let's go through all of this. Красный. You already know this word, I'm sure. Оранжевый. This one is a new one. Оранжевый. There is a word orange in it. It is like in English orange for fruit and for color and it is easy to remember оранжевый оранжевый желтый желтый you know this word зеленый зеленый you know this word as well зеленый голубой this word is new голубой and Синий, синий, синий is dark blue. In Russian we have two different colors, голубой, синий. It is blue and dark blue. Different names for that. Синий or голубой. And фиолетовый. This word фиолет, it looks like violet, isn't it? Violet, фиолетовый. Violet in English. It is very close to it. Fialetovy. And white. White. You know this word, I believe. And now let's go through all the colors on this rainbow from here to, to the sand. Krasny. Aranjivy. Jolty. Zilony. Galuboy. Sini. Фиолетовый, белый, in the middle, in the center. Молодец! And now I want you to do some exercises about uh, our topic, about adjectives. And what we're going to do here? We take first the word from first column, from second column, then some of the words from this column, and... This and this, and we'll have a sentence. We'll have a sentence in the correct gender. It will be so easy for you that you will think that Russian is really, really easy language. So let's try. Это мой джем. First, first word. Джем. Do you remember what it is? This one. Он Красный. Next. Это мой компьютер. Он новый. Это мой фильм. Да, мой фильм. Он интересный. Это мой друг. Он красивый. Вот это мой друг. Вот это. Вот он. 
Это мой банк. Он большой. Вот он он. Вот он. Это мой паспорт. Он старый. Yeah, I traveled a lot. Это мой театр. Он маленький. Small, little. Это мой жук. Он синий. Can you see it? Это мой студент. Он злой. Because he cannot learn the new vocabulary. Next thing. The feminine gender. All the same. Это моя пицца. Она большая. Моя пицца. Это моя гитара. Она маленькая. Маленькая гитара. Это моя книга. Она синяя. Вот она. Моя синяя книга. Это моя история. Она интересная. История. Story. Это моя игра. Она маленькая. Маленькая игра. Это моя зебра. Она добрая. She's kind. I cannot say in English she is kind, you know, but I can do it because <laughs> она is she. Это моя подруга. Она красивая. She's beautiful. Это моя камера. New word. Camera. It's just the same like in English. Camera. Она новая. New one. It is new. Новая камера. Это моя лампа. Also new word. It is very similar to English lamp. Лампа. Она старая. It is old. Она старая. You can say old about people also, but uh, you cannot say new for, for people, you know. Like in English, it is young old and new old, two opposite pairs. In Russian, it's the same. It's different word for young. It is молодой. And новый, новый старый. It is opposite words. And the last one is new to gender. Now let's practice to say all these words in new to gender. Это мое кафе. Вот оно. Оно новое. It is new. Это мое авокадо. Оно зеленое. Это моё манго. You can put stress on different words to change your meaning, to change context. Это моё манго. Or, это моё манго. Not avocado. Это моё манго. Оно жёлтое. Это моё пианино. Оно белое. It's my dream to have a white piano, but not like this, the grand piano. Wow! Это моё пианино. Оно белое. Это моё радио. Вот радио. Оно старое. Это моё видео. Оно интересное. Это моё имя. My name. Моё имя. I can write it here in Russian words. Моё имя Ирина. Оно красивое. 
Yes, why not? It is beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Это мое желе. Вот, желе. Like jello. Оно синее. Это мое море. I love it. Это мое море. Оно большое. Big, large. Большое. Выучи слова. Спасибо. Пожалуйста. Красивый. Добрый. Злой. Новый. Старый. Большой. Маленький. Оранжевый. Голубой. Синий. Фиолетовый. Камера. Лампа. Good job, everyone! By now you have learned your first 100 new words. Can you believe it? Wow! Ура! Спасибо за внимание. Thank you for your attention. Спасибо за внимание. Супер. Хорошо. Good job. Хорошо. До свидания. До свидания. Goodbye. До свидания. До свидания. Пока-пока. До свидания.